G'day guys, in today's video I'm going to be going through AFL Trade Rumours 2021 Part 2. Swans versatile 24 year old, Jordan Dawson requested a trade from Sydney back to South Australia earlier this week as the Sydney salary cap squeeze begins to take some names. Dawson reportedly was keen to stay at Sydney but a deal just couldn't be reached. Jordan Dawson is most likely to land at Port Adelaide. Adelaide defender Jake Kelly has informed his club he wants to exercise his free agency rights and play for a Victorian based side next year, and Essendon has reportedly emerged as his likely landing spot. The Crows released a statement on Friday afternoon confirming Kelly had met with the coach Matthew Nix and told him of the decision to return home to Victoria next season. St Kilda has reportedly set its sights on Swans' tall Hayden McLean. Rowan Marshall has emerged as a star of the future for the Saints, who, according to AFL.com, are looking to form a long-term ruck partnership. McLean is off contract at the end of the year and could provide support to Marshall while also an option to play forward. The 22-year-old is one of a number of Swans players coming off contract as they look to manage a tightening salary cap. As an unrestricted free agent, Charles move can be confirmed as early as October 1 when the free agency period begins. We're extremely excited that Mabel Chol will be going to the Gold Coast Suns for four years, Charles' manager said. Charles' manager also said that it was important for him to go home and get more opportunity to play senior football. Collingwood have been linked to Sydney first round selection Dylan Stevens, who is believed to be weighing up his future in the Harbour City. Stevens played 14 games for Sydney in his two seasons at the club. Finding opportunities in John Longmire's team is hard to come by. The 20-year-old is keen to gain further experience at senior level while remaining at the Swans. However, he could be tempted by greater opportunities elsewhere. Greater Western Sydney forward Jeremy Finlayson is understood to have undergone a medical with Port Adelaide, per reporter Tom Brown. The news comes as quite as a shock for both the Giants and Power fans, with Finlayson having signed a new three-year deal with GWS last year. Rising Richmond star Callum Coleman-Jones is weighing up his future with the club, with North Melbourne in the likely landing spot if he chooses to leave. SEN chief reporter Sam Emmett is reporting that Coleman-Jones' decision could be made very soon. The 22-year-old has played nine career games since being selected in the 2017 National Draft, eight of which came this season. Adam Chera has begun meetings with Victorian clubs via video call from Perth in his bid to return to his home state. Chera last month requested a trade back to Victoria, ending months of speculation despite having a two to four year deal worth $750,000 per season from Fremantle sitting on the table for the majority of the season. Chera has been linked heavily to the Melbourne Demons. Talks are underway in a potential trade involving Melbourne star Angus Brayshaw. Quinton Arkell is a decent chance to head to Richmond. Sam Edmund said that it's been quite the whisper for some time. He's got the same manager as Shy Bolton. The two are pretty tight. Sam Edmund said that he's not sure there's a lot of interest in Quinton Arkell elsewhere. There's concerns over the knee and his ability to spread. However, he's clearly good enough to play at the top level. He hasn't had a clean run at it at Geelong, so Richmond have long been rightly or wrongly put up there as a new home for him. The Melbourne Demons are adamant West Australian Luke Jackson won't form any part of a deal for Fremantle's Adam Chera. But there is another player who could get the trade over the line. Demon Angus Brayshaw, brother of Docker Andrew, could potentially be on the move according to Fox Footy journalist Sam Edmund, in a deal boosted by a future first round draft pick. For this trade to go through, it would have to rely on Adam Chera. Melbourne have made their pitch to Adam Chera, and it really impressed him. Carlton are also in the mix for Adam Chera, but the D's do not have a pick until the second round. It's going to take a player to make any trade possible here. Picks obviously aren't going to get it done. And the question is, is it Angus Brayshaw? Brayshaw is a Western Australian at heart, given he is family entrenched in the state. He's contracted until 2025, but he's playing out in the wing. He nearly won a Brownlow playing inside. That's where he'd prefer to play. Brayshaw finished third in the 2018 Brownlow medal count, ahead of his teammates Max Gorn and Clayton Oliver in a remarkable finish considering he started the season in the VFL. He also finished ahead of one of the favourites, Patrick Cripps, in the race won by Hawk, Tom Mitchell. Brayshaw's 21 votes was the best effort by a demon at a Brownlow count in 16 years. Angus Brayshaw would be a great get for Fremantle. His future lies in the hands of Adam Chera. Fringe Brisbane Lions ruckman Archie Smith has asked for a trade away from the club in bid to get more opportunity the 26-year-old didn't manage to play a match in 2021 as he found himself behind Oscar McInerney, Tom Fulton and Colla Balladin. Smith has played 16 games for the Lions since being drafted at pick 34 in the 2019 rookie draft. 
Shooters for Smith have not yet emerged, but Gold Coast are reportedly in the market for a ruckman. Former Essendon defender Connor McKenna could be thinking about a return to Australia after winning the All-Ireland final. Alternatively, the 25-year-old could be boozed up and taking the piss as he celebrates with his teammates. McKenna tweeted asking if any AFL clubs were in need of a half-back. It has been reported throughout the year that Mitchell is open to a trade. That's actually correct. Hawthorne wants to keep him. Tom Mitchell has been linked to Richmond, and if Richmond were to put an offer on the table and it was too good to refuse, I definitely think Hawthorne would consider it. If the planets were to align and a suitable offer came to Hawthorne, Tom Mitchell would be open to moving. North Melbourne midfielder term winger Trent Dumont is a free agent, but of the unrestricted variety. South Australian born, the 26 year old appears to be a chance to land himself at Port Adelaide. He is not front of mind for the club. Collingwood have emerged as a leading candidate in pursuit of Western Bulldogs midfielder Patrick Lipinski. Lipinski is expected to request a trade away from Witten Oval when the Bulldogs season comes to an end, as he looks for more senior footy and midfield opportunities. The 23 year old has been linked with both Carlton and Collingwood in recent months, but the Pies appear to have their nose in front. Richmond have been revealed as a keen suitor for Axe Crows defender Daniel Talia, who is weighing up his future after not being offered a new deal by Adelaide past the 2021 season. Talia, a two-time All-Australian with the Crows, is understood to be gaining some strong interest from rival clubs, with Nine News Adelaide reporting the Tigers and the Cats are among those eyeing the veteran backman. The Tigers could see Talia as an ideal replacement for retired defender David Asprey, with the reigning premiers hoping to strengthen their list ahead of the 2022 season after a 12th place finish this year. Geelong would also be looking into Talia's services after showing some weakness in the absence of cult hero and All-Australian defender Tom Stewart in recent weeks, while the club is yet to confirm a new deal for veteran backman Lockie Henderson. The Tigers have a fair amount of love for Daniel Talia, and they're not the only ones. Several clubs have sounded him out. The two considered most interests are Richmond and Geelong.